Hello there. Today we will talk about Kibana versus Grafana. So many people are using Kibana, few people are also using Grafana. So we will see today what is the difference and when to use what. Basically both of these are used for doing the data visualization. So where is the difference? So first difference is in the case of compatibility then access. So Kibana is public and Grafana is based on job responsibility of the user. Kibana is compatible with Elasticsearch data source and Grafana is with InfluxDB. In case of tool functionalities comparison for Kibana, geographical data relevance, bar chart, heat map and pie charts we see. In case of Grafana, data visualization through heat map and mixing of data from multiple sources we see kibana is working based on log log based and grafana is matrix based in case of alerts same user different location logging meeting the demand if your co content is boosting on social platforms if credit card numbers are visible in application logs those things can be uh, we can set an alerts in Kibana for all these things and in case of Grafana user can define its alert visually for the most important metrics. In case of Kibana user should uh, connect with Elasticsearch because of YML files which is not the case with Grafana. So privilege against role assigned accessibility of Kibana dashboard is totally dependent on the privileges assigned. These privileges are classified into base privilege, feature privilege. Base privilege where a user can access all the feature in the dashboard. This accessibility can be read and write functionality or might be restricted to read functionality only. Feature privilege, it again works on the same lines of reading and writes accessibility. The only thing here is that you might be able to work on a specific set of feature. In case of Grafana, user permission is determined by what position does a user hold in organization, accessibility permission granted to individual teams, permission granted to access a specific folder dashboard, and admin access with helps, which helps administrator accessibility for write of all the data. Tool and functionalities. Kibana with its perspective usability is of prominent help as the following things. It's time visual builder combine multiple timeline into one and still it conveys across meaningful data representation. It provides the geographical relevance of the data. Data can be represented through a variety of visual representation li like line, bar, heat map, pie chart, etc. When it comes to Grafana, below mentioned are some of the key functionalities. Visualization of data via heat map and histograms. Visual representation for whenever it observed any abnormality and at last adequ adequately mix up data from different sources and present as one. Logs and metrics from the code of its working. Kibana basically analyzes the log collected because of server and virtual machine operation. All this function is boosted by log app in Kibana whereas, in, whereas <coughs> wherein the display of result is customizable. Grafana on the other hand is capable of analyzing and visualizing the data from metrics. To quickly navigate the matrix space, Grafana is dependent on the graphite quick editor. So the differences are between Kibana and Grafana. Kibana offers a flexible platform for visualization. It also gives real-time update summary of the operating data. Grafana is built for cross-platform. It is mostly integrated with Graphite, InfluxDB and Elasticsearch. Grafana is developed mainly for visualizing and analyzing metrics such as system latency, CPU load, RAM utilization, etc. It does not support full text queries. Kibana, on the other hand, supports text querying along with monitoring. Grafana is mainly designed as a user interface tool for better interaction with the user. It accepts data from multiple plugin data from various sources. Kibana is designed specifically to work with ELK stack. Kibana is quite rigid when it comes to taking data, but there are plugins to integrate the ELK which is used by Kibana. Kibana is developed using Lucene library for querying. Kibana follows the Lucene syntax. Grafana on the other hand uses a query editor which follows different syntax based on the editor. It is associated with as it can be used across platform. 
for example queries to prometheus would be different from that of queries to influx db grafana supports built in alerts to the end users this feature is implemented from version 4.0 it can send alerts to the user email if it finds any unusual data while monitoring kibana by itself does not support alerts yet but with the help of plugin it can be made possible kibana is integrated with elk stack when the data is stored it is indexed by default making it relevance very fast grafana does not have an index mechanism like kibana and is slower in case of alert system procedure kibana alert system are are its first class entities and work on the following poss possibilities which lead to alert same user but different location logging content going viral on social media if credit card numbers are visible in application logs user have the privilege to manage the alert system with a single user interface also they can analyze from alert history about the action for a particular alert in grafana a user can define its alert visually for the most important metrics it also gives the option to the users as of how often the alert system needs to be evaluated now along with the difference there are some similarities as well so both grafana and grafana can be used with mac windows linux operating system both of these has alert system and in case of license both of these are open source with price and but the price are different uh, for enterprise level so thank you so much for watching today's video and if you think the videos are helpful do like the video and subscribe to the channel